V-Day. 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 I would have thought it's Sunday in June, but I'm not quite sure of him, no. I can't really say, definitely no. June 44. June 6, I believe. June 6, 1944. 15th of uh, February, 1971. What's going to happen on the 15th of February next year? Um, decimal coin is change over, doesn't it? Oh, I see, decimal day, yes, that D day, I see. Yeah. We have been since 1828 getting to the introduction of a decimal coinage, and we shall be the last major country in the world to go over, although we were one of the first to start thinking about it. It's one pound, 87 new pence, please. Old coins for new. Old half crowns being melted down at the Royal Mint to become part of the new decimal coinage. All our wages, pensions, postal orders, stamps and bills will be in decimal form. The advantages of the change are many. Apart from the fact that almost every other world currency is decimal, it will mean that accounting's quite well along with the five and fifty new penny pieces. But how will we manage when the rest of the new coins come in? Well, I think it can be summed up, really, in saying that 12 into 10 won't go. Uh, and therefore, when you come to deal with the copper part of the coinage, one's got to get used to a new scale of values, of, of getting our old pennies into our new pennies. For a tin of pineapple slices. Each is one. Wheat. Yes, just one. Uh, wheat now, the wheat crisp size. bread. Which is six Up to now, from the public's point of view, little seems to have been done by the board except the introduction of the five, ten and fifty penny pieces and the withdrawal of the halfpenny and the half crown. But behind the scenes, a lot of preparation has been going on. Many stores have been busy teaching their staff, including executives, what the new coins will mean. And companies and banks as well as shops are planning for the changeover. And instant coffee. I'll have the gold blend, please. Gold blend, sir. And the Gary Baldy biscuit. And the Gary Baldy biscuit. No, we're just run over it again. Yes. These, this is a pound, of course. Yes. This is the 50 penny piece. These are the 10 penny coins. This is the 2 penny coin. That's the 1 penny. And that's the new half penny coin. Yes. So are you clear now? Yes. Okay, miss, would you like to carry on ringing up? Sales girls up and down the country are being taught to handle the new coins. But for up to 18 months... Over 5 million machines have to be changed to accept the new coins. Machines like cash registers, parking meters, telephone boxes, amusement machines. The total cost of conversion is estimated at 87 million pounds. For people who buy new machines, they will be able to claim up to 85% of the cost in tax relief. But what of the small shopkeeper who simply gets his old cash register converted for 30 or 40 pounds? Will he be able to lose the cost or will he pass it on to his customers? We hope not, because you see, there are advantages to business in this decimal currency. It, 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 has, it is now, I think, freely admitted, and the experience of, uh, of Australia and New Zealand has come into proof this, that the costs of the shopkeeper, the costs of the businessman, are lower. He can employ less staff. His accounts become much easier to keep. Uh, and this is to his long-term advantage, even if it means some expenditure in the beginning. Can anybody tell me what's going to happen in February next year? Something very, very important. Alicia. They're going um, to let the decimal money come out. Yes, let the decimal money come out. What's the decimal money, Christopher? Well, all the old coins will be either burnt or melted. I think they'll be melted, but this will burn them. And um, all the new decimal coins will be put into currency and they'll be used. They'll be in use. Children are now taught in school to think and work in decimal coins. One of the main reasons for the change is that it is estimated that up to six months will be saved in teaching time by the introduction of decimal money. For children like these, it is easier to think in the new money. Can anybody tell me how many new pennies are going to have in one pound? Gordon. 
A hundred, yes, a hundred new pennies. My mum doesn't like the 50 pence, but I do. The new um, pence, be because they're easy to add up when I'm doing my arithmetic, and you, and you only have to count in um, pounds and pence. And in the old, old days, you had to uh, add up going one, two, three, four, like that, to make a shilling, and so on. The decimal currency board has been given no power to control prices, but they've drawn up conversion tables to show shoppers what the old price was in relation to the new. And these approved tables will be on view in most shops. The most important thing the board will do is to send to every household before D-Day a booklet which explains the new currency in simple question and answer form. The booklet will also contain... 80, 90, one pound. Uh, no, I didn't find it terribly easy. What do you think of those coins you got in the change? Yes, I think they'll be all right when we get used to them. They'll be lighter to carry around. I don't think it's as difficult as I thought it might be. It wasn't so bad. What did you think of the, the new copper coins that you got? I don't like them. I don't like them very much. This little one is too small and light, and the penny is a little bit light as well. The two pence piece isn't so bad, but I'm not very keen on the other two. I got a bit confused with them, and it said half pence. I had to think twice there. Well, I think one has to think in, in new pence, and not, in think of, uh, not think in terms of the, you know, the old currency and the new, and try and convert each thing. A nationwide survey carried out just before Christmas found that three out of four housewives expected the switch to be accompanied by higher prices. You have shown, to say the least of it, a great deal of optimism about D-Day. What proof have you got to substantiate this? We know that there will be very marginal roundings up and roundings down to which we have referred earlier. But these, of course, are very marginal. They can never exceed, one way or the other, more than 0.6 of an existing penny. So you see, this is not considerable. Uh, now, uh, if you ask me for evidence, I can only point to statements that have been made by prominent traders that they do not propose to use decimalization to put prices up. Now, I think it must be said further that prices are going up at the moment, and as far as I can see, will continue to go up all through 1970. And I think it's probable that the decimalization will take the blame for a lot of it. But in my view, decimalization is not responsible. If we are to be the whipping boy, all well and good. But decimalization isn't really the cause. Now, in many respects, the greatest loss will be uh, the sixpence. Won't this put prices for, say, parking meters, laundrette, slot machines? Yes. Yes. Um, I think in talking about the sixpence, it doesn't, of course, disappear as a value because it is exactly convertible at two and a half. It disappears as a coin. I think there's a certain amount of confusion about that. Uh, a sixpenny value of two and a half new pence will still remain with us and can be a price. But what is overlooked is that there will be a new coin of two new pennies. Present value, 4.8 pence, nearly five pence. Now this coin, is going to be invaluable. And we already have it on record, I think, that the post office, for example, intend to use it instead of the sixpence in telephone call boxes. They may shorten the time. And where you are providing a service where you can shorten the time, or where you are providing a commodity where you can vary the package, there is really no reason why you can't move from the sixpence to the new Tupney coin. The success of the changeover depends on all of us, shoppers and shopkeepers alike, moving over from the old to the new as quickly as possible from D-Day. And D-Day is one year from now. On the 15th of February 1971, uh, I, I think uh, from the Decimal Currency Board's point of view, one would hope that it would be the non-event of 1970 and 1971.